the Stations of the Cross with Pope John Paul II. The first station, the agony of Jesus in the Garden of Olives. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your, your holy, holy cross, cross you have saved, saved the, world. the world. Then they came to a place named Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter, James, and John, and began to be troubled and distressed. Then he said to them, my soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch. He advanced a little and fell to the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass him by. He said, Abba, Father, all things are possible to you. Take this cup away from me, but not what I will, but what you will. Jesus felt sorry and dread over what laid ahead of him. He prayed for the burden to be lifted and the cross to be removed, but only if the Father willed it so. When Christ saw clearly that he must drink of the bitter cup, then our Lord totally accepted his future. Not my will, but thine be done. His example teaches us how to pray at all times, especially in the midst of our own crosses and cup of suffering. Do not, Do not reprove me in your, me anger, in your Lord, anger, Lord, nor, nor punish, punish me in your wrath. wrath. Have, Have pity, pity on, on me, Lord, Lord for, for I am weak. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are shuddering. In utter terror is my soul. The second station, the betrayal and arrest of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have saved, saved the, world. the world. Judas, one of the twelve, arrived accompanied by a crowd with swords and clubs who had come from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. His betrayer had arranged a signal with them, saying, The man I shall kiss is the one. Arrest him and lead him away securely. He came and immediately went over to him and said, Rabbi, and he kissed him. At this they laid hands on him and arrested him. Rejection always hurts. It tears at our self-esteem and leaves us doubting our own worth. Even the turning down of a simple invitation can wound us. Betrayal, especially by a friend, hurts even more. Jesus had prayed all night before selecting his 12 apostles, including Judas. Judas had also been his companion for three years. Hearing the, words, Lord, the Lord's words and observing his miracle deeds, now he betrays his Savior with a kiss. And for but a few dollars, remembering Jesus' hurt and pain in the garden can help us deal with those times when we feel rejected and betrayed. Turn, Turn back, back, Lord. Lord. Rescue, rescue my, my soul. soul. Save, Save me because, because of, of your mercy. mercy. For, For in, in death there, there is no remembrance of you who praises you in Shaul. The third station. The Sandarin condemns Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your, your holy, holy cross, cross you have saved, saved the, world. the world. The chief priests and the entire Sanhedrin kept trying to obtain testimony against Jesus in order to put him to death, but they found none. The high priest rose before the assembly and questioned Jesus, saying, Have you no answer? What are these men testifying against you? But he was silent and answered nothing. Again the high priest asked him and said to him, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? Then Jesus answered, I am, and you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. At that the high priest tore his garments and said, What further need have we of witnesses? Envy and jealousy can be like cancerous diseases within us. They spread throughout our whole being, leading to uncharitable conversations, false accusations, and other destructive actions. We see all of this played out among the religious leaders of Jesus' time as they condemn Christ without basis. Our Lord offers a model for us. He did not defend himself, but remained silent before the false accusations. Jesus did, however, assert himself, speaking the truth, 
regardless of the cost. I am wearied, I am wearied with, with sighing. sighing. All night, All long, night long, I drench I my bed, bed with, with tears. tears. I, I soak my couch with weeping. with weeping. My, my eyes, eyes are dimmed, are dimmed with, with sorrow. sorrow. Worn, Worn out because, because of, of all, all my, my foes. foes. The fourth station. Peter denies Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your, your holy cross, cross you, you have, have saved, saved the, world. the world. While Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the high priest's maids came along. Seeing Peter warming himself, she looked intently at him and said, You too were with the Nazarene Jesus. But he denied it, saying, I neither know nor understand what you are talking about. So he went out into the outer court. Then the cock crowed. The maid saw him and began again to say to the bystanders, this man is one of them. Once again, he denied it. A little later, the bystanders said to Peter once more, surely you are one of them, for you too are a Galilean. He began to curse and to swear. I do not know this man about whom you are talking and immediately a cock crowed a second time. Then Peter remembered the word that Jesus had said to him, before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. He broke down and wept. All of us are like Peter to an extent, willing but weak. We make resolutions, but don't keep them. We try to start a new life, but slip back into a way of darkness. Yet, weak as Peter was, not only at Jesus' trial, but at other times as well. He truly loved Jesus. In fact, it was his love that repeatedly set him up for failure. All of Christ's other followers ran away after his arrest. Peter, however, followed along into the courtyard, only to see his weakness take over. Almost immediately, he wept because of what he had done. A few short days afterwards, Jesus would take this weak but loving follower and make him head of the church, supplying him with divine strength to overcome his human weakness. The Lord, the Lord has, has heard, heard the sound, the sound of, my of my weeping. weeping. The, the Lord, Lord has, has heard, heard my plea. plea. The, the Lord, Lord will receive my, my prayer. prayer. My foes will all be disgraced and, and will shudder greatly. greatly. They will, they turn, will back turn back in sudden, in sudden disgrace. disgrace. The fifth station. Pilate condemns Jesus to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have saved the world. As soon as morning came, the chief priests with the elders and the scribes, that is, the whole Sanhedrin, held a council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Now on the occasion of the feast, he used to release to them one prisoner whom they requested. A man called Barabbas was then in prison along with the rebels who had committed murder in a rebellion. The crowd came forward and began to ask him to do for them as he was accustomed. Pilate answered, Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? For he knew that it was out of envy that the chief priests had handed him over. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate again said to them in reply, Then what do you want me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted again, crucify him. Pilate said to them, why? What evil has he done? They only shouted the louder, crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas to them, and after he had Jesus scourged, handed him over to be crucified. Pilate seemed anxious to release Jesus, almost looking for a way to do so. But the crowd would not allow that. Pilate calculated it, fearing he for his future and lacking the courage to do what was right. We have on occasion acted similarly. Out of, Out of the depths, depths I call to you, Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear my, my cry. cry. May, May your ears, ears be attentive, attentive to, my to my cry for mercy. For mercy. If, if you, Lord, keep, keep account, account of, of my sins, Lord, who can stand? But, but with you is forgiveness, forgiveness and, and so, so you, you are revered. revered. The sixth station. Jesus is scourged and crowned with thorns. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your, your holy, holy cross, cross you have, have saved, saved the, world. the world. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him scourged. And the soldiers wove a crown out of thorns and placed it on his head and clothed him in a purple cloak. And they came to him and said, Hail, King of the Jews. And they struck him repeatedly. Pilate had Jesus scourged, a truly cruel punishment. 
He was probably stripped to the waist and made to bend over a short pillar. Then he was lashed several t dozen times with a whip, the first few of these strokes cutting open the skin on his back. After the scourge, a wooden band or crown of long, sharp thorns was pressed into his scalp. The pain had to be excruciating. When our own head hurts or we suffer some other bodily pain, it would do well for us to follow the advice in the letter of the Hebrews. Let us keep our eyes fixed on Jesus for the sake of the joy that lay before him he endured the cross. I wait, I wait for, the, for the, Lord. the Lord, my soul waits, and I hope for his word. My soul looks for the Lord more than more sentinels than for daybreak. daybreak. The seventh station, Jesus is mocked by the soldiers and given his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have, have saved, saved the, world. the world. The soldiers led him away inside the palace, that is, the praetorium, and assembled the whole cohort. They began to salute him and kept striking his head with a reed and spitting upon him. They knelt before him in homage, and when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him out to crucify him. Jesus is King of kings and Lord of lords. He deserves our praise and our reverence. Yet the soldiers placed upon him a dirty cloak instead of a royal garment. They handed him a thin reed instead of a golden shaft used by kings. Though all this humiliation, Jesus remained silent. How different with us, though not as pure, as important as Christ, we nonetheless become angry and defensive when someone attacks or criticizes us in any way. More, More than, than sentinels, sentinels for daybreak, daybreak let, Israel let Israel hope, hope in, the in the Lord. Lord. For, for with, with the, the Lord, Lord is mercy, mercy. With, with him, him is plenty is redemption, redemption, and, and he, he will redeem Israel, Israel from, from all, all its sins. sins. The Eighth Station, Simon the Cyrenian helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your holy, holy cross, cross you have, have saved the world. the world. They pressed into service a passerby, Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. Those in charge of Jesus' crucifixion compelled Simon the Cyrene to help carry the Lord's cross. He did not volunteer or willingly accept the task, but that is no surprise. Simon was only passing by and presumably knew little about Christ. We, on the other hand, do know Jesus, and we have heard his words about the necessity of taking up our own cross each day and walking in his footsteps. What is our repose? Must we be pressed to carry our crosses, be that big or small, or do we accept them willingly? Because, because I, I kept keep silent, silent my, my bones wasted weary. away. I, I groaned all day long, for day, day and night your hand was heavy, was heavy upon, upon me. me. My, my strength withered as in dry, dry summer, summer heat. heat. Then, then I, I declared, declared my sin to you, you. My, my guilt I did not hide. I said, I confess, I confess my, my transgression, transgression to the Lord, Lord and, and you, you took, took away, away the guilt, guilt of, of my, my sin. sin. The ninth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your, your holy, holy cross, cross you have, have saved, saved the, world. the world. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. Compassion means literally to suffer with someone. Empathy means to feel with them. These women displayed both qualities as they accomplished Jesus, so bruised and disfigured on this sorrowful journey through the streets of Jerusalem. We imitate their example when we listen with love to another's tr troubles hold another's hand to buy a hospital bed, or embrace another who is grieving. Lord, do, do not punish, punish me in your anger. In your wrath, do not chastise me. 
Your Your arrows arrows have have sunk deep deep in me. Your Your hand hand has has come come down down upon me. me. The tenth station. Jesus is crucified. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because Because by by your holy holy cross cross, you have have saved saved the the world. world. They brought him to the place of Golgotha, which is translated place of the skull. They gave him wine drugged with myrrh, but he did not take it. Then they crucified him and divided his garments by casting lots for them to see what each should take. First they drove nails through his hands and feet. Then they raised him on the cross, where he hung painfully for three hours. An example of patience for all to study. Pope John XXIII had a crucifix on his bedroom wall. He prayed in front of it before retiring upon arising, and whenever cares awakened him during the night. A cross, he said, is the primary symbol of God's love for us. My My Lord, Lord, my my deepest deepest yearning yearning is before you. My My groaning is not hidden from from you. you. My My heart shudders, shudders, my strength strength forsakes me. me. The The very light light of my eyes has failed. failed. Friends and companions shun my disease. My My neighbors neighbors stand stand far off. off. The Eleventh Station. Jesus promises paradise to the penitent criminal. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because Because by by your holy holy cross cross, you have have saved saved the world. world. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him and the criminals there, one on his right, the other on his left. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed, we have been condemned justly, for the sentence we received corresponds to our crimes, but this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. One criminal said no to Christ, the other yes. To his penitent companion on Calvary, Jesus promised immediate forgiveness and entrance into heaven. When we doubt God's willingness to forgive us, when we keep punishing ourselves for past mistakes, when we dread the thought of standing before the pure Christ with our not so pure lives, we might recall this scene on the cross and draw hope from it. Have Have mercy mercy on me, God, God, in accord accord with your your merciful merciful love. love. In your your abundant abundant compassion, compassion, blot out out my transgressions. transgressions. Thoroughly wash away my my guilt, and and from my my sin sin cleanse me. me. You You will let me hear gladness and joy. joy. The bones bones you have have crushed will will rejoice. rejoice. The Twelfth Station. Jesus speaks to his mother and his disciples. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because Because by by your your holy cross cross, you have have saved saved the world. world. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. With these words, Jesus gives his mother to us, making her our mother as well. Mary becomes the mother of the church. We can rely upon her to help and look to her as a model. Here, she stands at the foot of the cross, offering her son for us and for the whole world. She reminds us that if we unite our sufferings, both large and small, with her son on the cross and with her at the foot of the cross, we would share in Christ's work of bringing grace and blessings to others. Hasten, Hasten to, answer to answer me, Lord, Lord for, my for my spirit, spirit fails, me. fails me. Do, Do not, not hide, hide your face, your face from, from me, me, lest I become, I become like those descending, descending to the pit. To the pit. In, in the morning, morning let, let me hear of your mercy, your mercy for in you I, I trust. Show me the path, path I, should I should walk, walk for I entrust, I entrust my, my life to you. Thirteenth Station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because Because by by your your holy cross cross, you have have saved saved the world. world. 
At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lima sabachthani, which is translated, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard it said, look, he is calling Elijah. One of them ran, soaked a sponge with wine, put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink, saying, wait, let us see if Elijah comes to take him down. Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. Jesus, as a faithful Jew, would have prayed the palms regularly. It is no surprise, then, that these words from Psalms 22 are on his lips during the intense agony of his last moments. While this cry might seem to be a sign of despair or hopelessness, it reveals radically the depth of his anguish and the intensity of his pain. Shortly afterwards, he surrenders totally to his father's will. Father, into your hands I condemn my spirit. We might wish to follow Christ's example, letting these words be the last on our lips as we would want each night for sleep to come, sleep which is a symbol of our own eternal death. My God, my, I, my God, God, why have why you abandoned, have you abandoned me? me? Why, why so, so far, far from, from my call, call for help, from my, from my cries, cries of anguish? anguish. My, my God, I call by day, day but you do not, but you answer. Do not answer. By, by night, night, but I, I have, have no relief. No relief. The 14th station, the burial of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your holy cross, cross you have saved, saved the, world. the world. When it was already evening, since it was the day of preparation, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a distinguished member of the council, who was himself awaiting the kingdom of God, courageously went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Pilate was amazed that he was already dead. He summoned the centurion and asked him if Jesus had already died. And when he learned of it from the centurion, he gave the body to Joseph. Having bought a linen cloth, he took him down, wrapped him in the linen cloth, and laid him in a tomb that had been hewn out of the rock. Then he rolled a stone against the entrance to the tomb. Starting on Good Friday, the church enters into a brief period of silent grief a time of mourning that looks with hope to the joy of the resurrection that will be pr proclaimed and celebrated at the Easter Vigil. We grieve in much the same way when someone we love dies. There are tears and sorrow, of course, but rays of hope and belief in a later reunion being uh, us comfort, understanding, and strength. My soul, my soul rests, rests in God, God alone, alone, from whom, from whom comes, comes my salvation. salvation. God, God alone is my rock, is my rock and, salvation, and salvation, my fortress. I, I shall never, never fall. My soul, my soul be, be at rest, rest in God, God alone, alone, from, from whom, whom comes, comes my hope. hope. The 15th station, Jesus rises from the dead. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your, by your holy, holy cross, cross you have, you have saved, saved the, world. the world. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James, and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. Very early, when the sun had risen, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, who will roll back the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a white robe, and they were utterly amazed. He said to them, do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. After the cross comes the crown. After three days of mourning and waiting, the church celebrates Jesus' resurrection. He is victorious. The light of the world has conquered darkness. The way, the truth, and the life has overcome death. We hear Jesus' world. Peace be with you. We feel joy in our hearts. We sing again the acclamation of praise. Alleluia. His triumph is ours as well. 
On Easter Sunday and in the many other Easter's of our lives, we raise above our failures, our burdens, and our struggles. We, too, emerge victorious. Throughout our own Good Fridays, the risen Lord is by our side, pledging that we, too, will rise again, both here on earth and hereafter in the life yet to come. Praise, praise the Lord, the Lord my, my soul. soul. I will I praise, praise the Lord, Lord all my life. Sing, Sing praise, praise to my God while I live. The Lord sets, sets prisoners, prisoners free. free. The Lord shall, shall reign forever. forever. Your, Your God, God Zion, Zion through, through all generations. generations.